Hello comrades, it's Premier Rever, and I am back again, looking down on the city of Neuve Revergrad with our houses, and, well, our plans for houses, and our plans for many, many buildings, and our partially planned, or well, mostly planned, new power plants and coal facility. So, happy days. We have lots and lots of stuff to build, so I have restarted time, and I will try to keep it running for the vast majority of this episode. Now, I know we have a, well, at least one problem. We don't have any fuel coming to this. And in addition, I noticed we have a little traffic jam going on here. So, I had caused this to purchase fuel so it wouldn't be a thing. I, I had noticed it when I was over here working maybe before I, when I was leveling, I think. So I put that on purchase, but I would like to get real quick. Let's go all the way over to here. I don't think we, I mean, it's getting so far away from where our fuel's made. I think I'm just going to get a truck for now to run over there, even if it's not the most efficient. So might as well buy it from this depot. And we don't have any options there, right? I'm sort of, I'm a little bit concerned about the dates on these things. Like, are we not going to be able to buy a lot of these vehicles? Like, has anybody ever played past the point where these vehicles are a thing? You know, like, you know, are we going to be, like, there's no vehicles here. Like, what happens after 2006? Will I be able to buy my favorite cistern still? Hmm. So anyway, I, I hope that's, I hope that's not a game-ending issue, right? I mean... I mean, I know we still have a decade before 2006 in that case, but it's still a bit concerning for me. So there's our fuel pickup, and I want this guy to, oops, too far again, come out to here. And I want you to, don't load anything, just load fuel. And it's easy enough, and then get here and wait, and then start. And I don't think we're going to be using so much fuel over here that I can't cancel this, right? Like we got four tons, and I don't, I don't really see them using that much. Now, what do we have here? And why, why didn't I put these guys going over to here? So anybody who's, <clears throat> well, not anybody, but more people need to come over to here. Let's just take a look at this and see. Yeah, see, for some reason I managed to put <laughs> one vehicle in here. Now, what are you? So our electronics guy is coming to here, and this warehouse only has one spot, so that's that's kind of a good thing. But really, the electronics guy isn't even waiting, is he? And he's, no, he's not, yeah, he doesn't even count. But I, so I, I don't even know why I wouldn't have him maybe just go right to the warehouse, right? Because he's, he's not waiting there, so yeah, don't don't take up a spot or don't require a spot. So I'm going to do new stop, unload, there, I didn't necessarily mean to get into a logistics episode, but then delete that, and then since you were headed here, go back to here, I hope that doesn't mess them up too much, yeah, food factories, warehouse, good, okay. I always like to double check that kind of stuff. All right, so now he, we have nothing coming to the car cargo warehouse. So, yeah, this guy definitely wants to come in here and unload and wait. And you go here. All right? Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Okay, get out of there. So each of these, or you know what, let me pause it for half a second so these guys don't drive away. You are, nope, you are the facility. So you're just dropping off wood on the go, which is fine. Um, yeah, you're not, thank you, safe game. Yeah, since you're not waiting anywhere, we're just going to let you let you fly so to speak and then you are probably a construction vehicle since you're empty coming in here yeah and I can't seem to click on that guy directly let's see if we can't currently heading waiting 
Yeah, you're a wood guy. You are a construction guy. Yeah, you are the prefab panels guy. So we want you to come to here as well. All right. So when you get there, unload. Okay, let's move this up. Unload your prefab panels. We'll delete that. Send you around the corner. Good. Okay, so that's that, and then yeah, we don't need that. What is what are you doing? You are another construction guy. So does that? Well, let's play time. And these, so this guy should drive around the corner. This guy's just stopping by. So at least that'll get. We'll keep an eye on that. Make sure I don't have more people messed up. What I didn't see was. Yeah, we don't have a bricks guy, do we? And we don't have one on the way either, according to this. And I don't think I have one over here, right? What is it? Okay, planned route. No, you're just another construction guy. So we need to get some bricks up here, don't we? And I think we'll do a bit of a brick relay. Do we have any? Let's just go check. We can buy one. I always think that's further. Yeah, we don't have an open hall here, so we'll buy another one. Now, we had a bit of a debate, by the way, in our live stream about which vehicles are the most efficient. I don't know if anybody's done a true study, but I always tend to buy the biggest one, and it was pointed out that might not always be the most efficient. Um, I would argue that it would cause less traffic at that point, right? So there is a certain efficiency in less vehicles. Like, if the smallest vehicle was the best but you need 10 of them, then that would cause you a, a few more traffic issues, right? Which wouldn't necessarily be good. Now, I could put them on to buying from here. Yeah, we'll have to keep that in mind when we go to, I think I will, but we're gonna have to keep in mind I wanna get rid of all of these. So if, if that's the relay. So what I'd like to do in the future is have more, more relays that involve like getting trains close to things and then we could take it the rest of the way with trucks which is how it usually works or often works in real life and you will come there and wait and you'll get started and then we should have some bricks coming up here now how are we doing yep we got all the electronic and mechanical components what were you okay you were the electrical guy that we already found and we should have yeah you are what are you doing? You're just another guy delivering electrical components? Hmm. We don't really need... Oh, come on. Why can't I click on that? Oh, there it is. It's kind of a weird hitbox. Yeah, we really don't need two of these guys, do we? How did I manage that? I don't know. We're going to take this one off of this guy. Yeah, he, he doesn't, we only need one. And this this guy kind of divides it in half, so I'm wondering if it wasn't a road issue. I noticed because we don't have a road between the two, it's like I think, and I think the fact that this one's partially constructed is sort of causing a problem. And we need to get somebody assigned to this. Which is, this is, these guys are our bridge builders. We don't have a little piece of road right there, do we? Always something in this game. Um, Patrick and I were talking in the comments last night about doing a time frame or like a time lapse thing. And this is, the, you know, there's just so many little kind of things that seem to go wrong that I just don't. Even if all the other things could be worked out, it's like, do you know how long I actually spend sitting here looking at something like this? <laughs> it's, you know, before. And even if I were to try to like, I don't want to say fake it, that's that's too harsh a term, but if I were to do something where we try to do the time lapse, you know, with, with the trucks still building, because just, you know how much it's going to cost to build these buildings? We don't have enough money. 
And for something not to like grind to a halt, like, you know, we barely have enough steel coming out right now. So it would be a really big effort to try to do something like that. Let's see, how is our steel doing? See, like this steel train is, is it's gonna take a while longer to get him filled up, which leads me to another thing. And I, and I want to make another announcement before we get too far into it. I want to give you guys a little bit more of the global picture. Another concern and comment, I think it was Adam that made it. It's like, well, it's easier to run wires from our power. And I don't disagree. Like normally, if I wasn't pulling this coal out of here for another reason, I don't think I would ever consider it. Other than the other factor is... I'm picturing this a little bit like, I don't know if you guys have ever played Factorio in particular, like where you have a bus of items. In other words, by taking the coal off of here and putting it onto a train, you're kind of, you know, we could do that. Like this coal mine is not very efficient. Where the heck is it? Over here. Like in the sense that I have a lot of workers coming up here, right? Great workers, but look, we're just full, right? Cannot export coal. So, like, what I'm hoping to be able to do is, you know, when we get these other power plants going, I don't know if we'll get rid of this power plant, but now that we have, you know, I'm thinking of getting some of this coal off of here, potentially, right? And if, if we were to do that, we really might consider feeding this coal in a different way, right? Like, in other words, the excess coal that we're making, we would then ship to the other power plants right we would have a train that was part of our coal network in a sense or and then that way you know like because this is really just a complete waste of people and you know we could definitely be sending coal out of here so that's sort of this is sort of the test bed somewhere over here wherever it is right for like a obviously massive and complicated system but you know, if, if we can reliably feed these with coal with the trains in this little loop, then I'll have an idea of how many trains it takes to run two power plants. And then what I'm thinking of is, is, you know, we have more coal up here, right? We would do the same thing with Bricksville. I mean, if Bricksville wasn't using up all the coal, which I tend to doubt it would, then we would, we would build another one of those train kind of things here, maybe even build two power plants up here. And then we would have like a third set of power plants, like I had pointed out before, like maybe over here where all the coal trains, when they're done dropping off for, I don't know, whatever priority we wanted, we could we kind of set it up with trains, right? Would send their coal up to here. Does that make sense? And then, so we would be running these power plants without coal at all. And let's just picture we had two, that's... It's going to be six power plants between those three areas is kind of the thing I'm sort of leaning towards, which, you know, where these wouldn't have their own coal mines up here. But we also keep in mind, too, like we're going to need coal to here anyway. Right. So unless we plan on putting the cement here, which it sort of becomes one of those, well, we need rocks and not that we couldn't build quarries down here, but. You know, I'm thinking that we have our quarries over here where we distribute to this one and this one. And then we have coal coming in. And then once we have coal to this area anyway, you know, why don't we just use the power plants? Um, so I hope, hope that helps. So like, yes, it would be better to maybe put a lot more power plants here. But at the same time... And again, I don't know exactly how the math is going to work out, but we're going to get in the neighborhood of, let's just say, 600 coal per day, I guess is their standard measurement. Now, if we go back and look at a power plant, wherever the heck we are, yeah, over here, that electrical town over here. You know, I don't know exactly how much it's using, but it says 24 tons of coal. I do kind of wish they... I'm assuming it's per workday, like everything else, even though they don't actually say it here anywhere. So, you know, 24 tons of coal is like nothing compared to what we're producing out of just this one area, wherever the heck it went. Does that make sense? All right. So anyway, so that's the thinking with the coal. And again, 
with the main reason I'm doing all this with the coal, just so you know, is because I want to put these steel mills up here because I have this pretty massive supply. But I mean, we have just great iron up in this region. Let's go over to here. I mean, this is just some of the you're not going to find much better iron on the entire map. So it's either ship all the iron, you know, closer to the coal or clip ship all the coal closer to the to this to the steel mills here to the iron and i think it's just i don't know half dozen of one and if, and considering that putting the coal on a train loop like let's now you can imagine i want to bring bring coal up to here anyway right and then i'm going to be bringing coal to here anyway because i want to bring coal to our cement area so how much harder would it be to put more power plants up here now also with probably a minimal effort you could picture we could extend this loop i was thinking about this later like i really wasn't getting into this area before but there's no reason we couldn't extend this loop out further and so if none of that worked right if you say okay rever you're crazy and it turns out you're right like we could i could easily put more power plants coming out this way and and one way or the other extend this loop out with more of these you know with more of these storages and all that stuff like we did here. Does that make, make sense? So it all kind of hinges on, you know, you'll, when we fire these up and we actually get them running, hopefully full blast, I want to see how many trains do we need in here to keep this going? Like if, if we need like a train per, thing or, or less like it's I, I don't see it being that big a deal to send two or four trains across the map to keep a power plant running over here right and the train should be able to hold quite a bit and if it's only using 24 tons per day per, you know which i know goes faster in the game than in real life but you know at the same time you know i i just don't see that as long as we can get you know, a limited number of trains and it's not some, you know, ridiculous Congo line of trains that you would need. I think that in some cases you're better off building the power plant separately. And again, I, I haven't proven that. And, and as time goes on, that's one of the reasons I, I, I like doing all of this extra work here is because I can see that I would, I think it would be less power line overloading we wouldn't need like 16 power lines coming out of this area we'd have you know i mean it would just they're ugly and plus as i said in the one comment trains are cool <laughs> you know why wouldn't you do things with trains if you can you know but anyway all right so here's the other announcement i'd like to make and i'm a little further into the video that i wanted to make i kind of wanted to make it at the beginning um we are going to go to the moon i am going to play Kerbal Space Program and inside of Kerbal Space Program we are going to we are going to have Kerbals that are named after the people who've commented the most if you specifically want a Kerbal named after you I will give preference to the people who've been around the channel for a little bit longer but I will I will name a uh, you know, name, name a Kerbal after you. And the idea will be, I want to do a little bit of another game and I've, I've kind of wanted to do KSP for, for a while. So on Tuesdays and Thursdays, I am going to start making videos and I will give you updates. You don't have to watch those videos. I understand some of you are just fans of workers resources in the Soviet Republic and that's great. And I hope you're not too upset that you won't have seven episodes a week. <laughs> It'll only be five and but i will keep you informed as to how our space program's doing and just so you know it's in a secret location so you can't see it from here much like the soviet space program was pretty secretive and you know throughout the uh, 60s and 70s we're going to be very secretive so you won't be able to see it from here but we will give you updates of our grand success and at this point i only plan on doing it until we land a man on the moon and return him now, of course, we're way behind the Americans, this being 1994, but I think that will be a great, great, you know, accomplishment for Rever Stan. The other thing I have to say is, and, I, and I'm pretty sure this was the case, but I'm always guessing, which is kind of the point of what I'm about to say. 
if you leave a dislike because you don't want me to play Kerbal Space Program and you want seven episodes per week, I'm not... I don't know what the dislikes mean. Like, to me, the only th reason you guys would leave a dislike is to warn other people not to watch my videos, right? Like, it's not... Like, let's just say I put the Kerbal Space Program up on Tuesday and I get 10 dislikes. Like, I really don't know why anyone disliked it. So if you if you think this is a horrible plan and you're mad at me, it's fine that you put a dislike. I, I'm not going to stop you or tell you it's not your right, but you're not communicating with me with your dislikes, like anything that's beneficial to the series, right? Like, I can only speculate why anybody leaves a dislike. Now, the likes, you know, I, I mean, they're in kind of the same category, like in the sense of, well, you know, I don't really know why somebody left a like. It could have been for one reason or it could have been for they liked the whole video. But obviously, you know, not being a, a, a criticism in a sense, you know, it, it's it's a little more easily acceptable and brushed off in a sense. Oh, well, I'm glad somebody liked something about it, right? Versus somebody dislikes something and you just have no clue what they disliked. So anyway, yeah, so... I don't recommend you leave a bunch of dislikes on the KSP videos <laughs> just because I have no clue what what you're actually disliking. Like, you know, I'm, I, and I can't tell who left a dislike. So it's not like it's not like I might recognize your name and, and say, oh, well, Radomir, not that he would, but, you know, Radomir left a dislike. <laughs> Therefore, he must obviously not want me to be doing the KSP videos. But in any event, we're going to put a man on the moon because we are the greatest Soviet republic ever. And I don't know that any of the other, besides having probably the grandest city, you know, we are going to, we are going to be the first Soviet republic, or what I should say, workers and resources Soviet republic to put a man on the moon. And I think we actually would be the first, well, we would be the second other country ever. Which is quite an accomplishment to do before 1994, right? <laughs> anyway, well, I hope if you have never played Kerbal, I hope you can come by and watch a video or two. And it's going to be a little bit for beginners. And like I said, I, I'm kind of itching to do a video about something else. Those of you who followed closely will know that. And it's, it's not that I don't really enjoy this game. It's just, you know, you get itching to do something different in life sometimes, right? And again, oh, just so you know, this this series is going to stay at least five days a week for the foreseeable future. If the KSP videos prove to be popular, I, I might continue them past the moon landing. But don't worry about this going anywhere. I, I fully intend to build the city of Revergrad. And if Lord knows how long that's going to take. <laughs> it's just, whew, that's a lot of work, right? All right. So anyway, that's enough about something else. And like I said, I'll give you news updates just in case you're not watching the KSP. But let's get down here. I want to keep kind of building this just because it's ready to build, right? And we can't get to there, but we could possibly get to there, right? Yeah, so that's two roads for him. So let's get around here and check to see if people are busy. And a lot of times you can just even see the number of trucks. And, yeah, see, Heggie O'Dahl, they're busy. How about over here? These guys might not be busy anymore. Nope. And I just want this guy as our roller. I just want him plugging away at roads. Whichever and however he can. There you go. And then this guy should have a... This, this was going to be a little bit more of our building crew. Stole from Energinisk. You know what? Do you have any buildings you can actually get to? No, of course not. Yeah, you built that one. So let's have you build that. Yeah. Okay, so we're we're making progress. Alright, how are our railroad thingies doing? You are assigned four things. Um one of the suggestions was that I come in here and limit the amount. And they're absolutely right. The amount wasn't limited, but it has been in the past. So I don't think it was that this was unchecked by me, unless I somehow did it 
and maybe it was never checked. I, I thought I had looked at it, but then when I came in, it definitely wasn't checked. So these other two definitely are, right? And look at this one. This 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 was I checked the other day when I first got the comment, or you know, whenever I got back into the game. And and look, this one does have the bricks problem, right? So it's sort of I don't know why. I just don't know why. Like, why do they get too many bricks in there? So now, oh, by the way, here you go. This is the kind of thing that if I tried to do the live stream, it would just bring us to a halt. So let's say, I really don't know where this guy's coming from. So it's not this guy. Let's try Prezink North. No, it's the other one, but at least at least that should get him out of the road. And all of these other ones are, yeah, you know, see, and then you have things like this guy, like things you just wouldn't expect. Like why in the world are they going all the way down there and looping around? Right? I, I just, I don't understand that. I, I don't think I have any one, I mean, I looked in here off camera. You know, there's, I don't think there's any one-way signaling issues. Like if we come in here. By the way, this that guy was a member of a Tupafalu construction, and they have this crisscross right here, which I believe is working fine. It seems to work three quarters or more of the time. Let's let's come over here to signals, right? So in other words, they don't need to be two-way here, right? Like in other words, they shouldn't. I don't. I don't know that it matters that much, but they should be able to come out one way there, switch over here. And then go like two-way in each of these directions. Like all of these signals are are two-way signals. So why would they go all the way down to Revergrad and turn around and come back? Like it just doesn't make a large amount of sense to me. Now on their way back, again, they could they have this crisscross, but they're just not following it. I mean, I can try to put these on two-way. I mean, that might cause a few more traffic jams up here, but it would maybe be better than them driving all the way down there. I don't know. So the trains just... And I do see, by the way, I did spend a little bit of time looking at the road map. And there we go. We're freed back up. But now we should probably assign this guy. Now that we see that which ones is this guy working on. Yeah, let's give... Yep, okay, that bridge is done. Good, so we'll give that guy that one. So there we go. But yeah, anyway, more, the more I look at these trains and the more I think about their problems, I, and I looked at the roadmap, and they do say better signaling. And, I mean, if, if the dev is listening at all, which I tend to doubt, it, you know, waypoints. Give us waypoints, because if I had waypoints, I can overcome a lot of the other irregularities. If I can force a train to go to a waypoint right here, then I can stop this stupidity here, right? Like, why is he going in there? There's just absolutely no reason, like, in real-life logic that you would ever do that. There's some flaw in the pathing of these trains that's causing him to go that way instead of going straight. And the problem is that that causes problems when too many trains get in here. And I think hopefully we got those straightened out, but still, it's you know, I'm literally going to get rid of this whole area in part to get rid of that problem, right? I don't know how else I would have it accessible to trains, and then you know, then I have and that could just be the construction cranes are doing it, but no, it's not because absolutely I've seen the food trains. They'll come in here, loop around, and then go back out and go like this way. It's not like they're it's not like they're even necessarily turning around. They just come in here as part of their normal ride, so to speak, you know? Or at least it seems that way. Maybe they are turning around because they got fuel, but that doesn't make a lot of sense with the construction cranes. In any event, we'll uh we'll see how it goes. Okay, well, I made my special announcement and we I think have most of the construction guys working on something, right? 
What are you guys doing? No, you guys are doing nothing. And you guys are sort of better for paving, but you, I think you can kind of do anything. Yeah, we're still working on that. Yeah, it's just slow getting these. I really, I think these overpasses, talk about overkill. Yeah, that definitely, I mean, we're only going to have so few trains in here. Of all the places I needed overpasses, that was probably not it. But anyway, it's one of the reasons for doing all this work up here. And then, so what we should probably do, yeah, I don't think there's any reason we wouldn't start. Yeah, we could start building more of these roads, can't we? Because these guys are a bit of a paving crew. And the other positive thing about getting them to do more roads is that is that it doesn't take a lot of steel. And the more steel construction, power plants, unfinished roads. So, you, so I have you working down that way. All right, well, we'll probably rethink that at some point here. Let's just give... Let's just give this guy another road. Well, that's fine. Well, that's good enough for now. And then this guy we just assigned to something. He's making good progress. This guy. Yep. All right. So now let's take a few minutes. Hopefully nothing bad will happen behind us. And I think that we really have to consider how we're going to get people in here. Oh, another thing before we get into that, since we're just... You know, this is sort of, in some ways, killing time while people build things. Uh, Rodimir had asked me what... Let me go back to the comments real quick. Had asked me what... How many people are you going to need for all of this? Did you factor that in? And so I went around and, you know, made a fairly loose, but, you know, somewhat accurate. We're going to need about, total, 7,400. Now, that includes three shifts of people. Now, I don't think these buildings need to be maxed out, but if you then divide, like, in a, in a sense, you know, these flats that we're picking have at least 150 people. So, well, not, not all of them will everywhere, but you get the idea. Like, 150 is probably a good round number to use for, just to get an idea. So, we would need 50 houses to supply all of the workers we would need here, which sounds like quite a bit until you divide it by four, right? So it's my intention to have four quadrants of houses, one on each of these corners. Now, of course, you know, the mountain may become a little bit of an issue over here, you know, like where we're not going to be able to, but if you divide four into 50, you get like 12 something, right? 12 and a half. So, I don't think it's that unreasonable. Like, we already have in this area, like, there's six houses that all probably meet the criteria. Plus, we put another three in here. So, we've already up to nine. And you can see, like, we haven't even really started plopping houses down, like, in this region, right? So, I mean, I could easily see where we could have 20 houses in this area. And when you think about what I did over here towards the leveling so far even with the mountain behind us it it's going to be pretty easy to probably even get another 20 houses in this area maybe some of them might be up on the hill or you know depends on how we do it and same thing over here like you know we've got a bit of a mountain to deal with but this mountain is actually not as bad to deal with as that one you know like that one's kind of a bigger mountain. well this one right here is, is a pretty darn big mountain but anyway we we can get you know, if you look at where we're at here, you know, even if we just went over to here, I mean, that's a lot more of these houses. I can easily, in other words, see us getting, you know, 40 houses in each quadrant. I'm sorry, 20 houses in each quadrant, easily, or pretty easily. Meaning we could get 80 houses, and that's not even really counting, like, plopping some in. Like, we could put some more houses in on the ends, right? Like, no reason we can't do it like there and there. So I, I mean, a hundred houses is just very doable given this pretty massive layout. And, you know, a hundred houses would be twice as many as we would need for in here. 
which is good. And the reason that I thought about all this is I had done a little population calculation over here. And I think I might have mentioned it in the last video. I hope I did. You know, in order to run all of this, we're going to need 1,800 people for the coal mines plus a few more for this other stuff, which isn't, they don't require a massive number of workers. So, you know, talking 2,000 people we need to get in and out of here. So what I think I'm going to do is actually take off the mountain as best I can. And I would like to put a train station like right here, right? And then have that train like, because I could picture a bunch of people, houses right here. And we're going to have this train loop, you know, right in this area. So, you know, this, you know, we have to look, this inner loop right here, I would consider for, you know, for people going shopping and just, you know, this is going to be a loop of shoppers. And this outer loop, though, which is really, when you think about it, not going anywhere right now. Like, because this is one, this is like the inner loop of the inside, which will be for other people wanting to go shopping from far away. But th this outer track here could be for workers, right? So imagine we'll have more train stations here. So what I was thinking of is somehow getting that outer loop up over to here somehow through that mountain not through it but get rid of the mountain right and then we'd have to get you know the biggest thing is like we have to get people to each of these so if i can get like a bus or train station over here i was looking oops i think that's close enough that they might walk there right no you're just not going to okay there we go why are you not yeah, I don't know. So we, we have to get people to each of these. Now, the other thing to say is, is that it might not be impossible to come right through here, right? Like we could do an overpass over these things and, and get into here um, and drop some people off. Or is it better that we were to like kind of go around the outside and drop people off, right? Um, I'm not sure how well we can drop off just a few people. Like, we might take advantage of this and come... Like, I'm picturing a, a train that goes right around in a loop. You know, the only issue... Like, this middle one is the only one that's really going to need people that... You know, we want to make sure that we're really close. But I could picture a train station right here that would service these two coal mines. And a, another train station over here that would do this coal mine. Or do we put it, like, right close to here where, you know, let's take our measuring tool out again. See what I mean? Like none of those, anywhere that this substation would connect electricity wise, as long as your paths are pretty close or pretty straight, you know, you should be able to get people to walk that far. So we could get hopefully a train station down into here with people and that would cover that. Then we're gonna need people to here, but if you picture that loop right around, so let's see how, just real quick, how daunting a task this would be to take the top off this mountain. And then I'll probably pause it to, to just finish up the task. But I want to give you an idea. And let's put on the wireframe. And I'll pause it just so we can see. So like this is yellow, but you know, the problem is getting it. There we go. See, once you get that, you know, it's just going to be pretty... Now, this course, is raising that up as much as it's lowering it, but that's okay. So, I mean, once we get the very tops of these mountains off, I think we can... You know, we can get in here and, and start... You know, just, just... It'll be time-consuming, but that's okay. I have a thing called YouTube, which has got, like, a video about anything in the world you would probably ever want to watch, I think. You know, so in other words, I will plop on a YouTube video. Oop, we don't want to build that road. See, now that we've taken that off, sometimes you can then say, now we can get away with coming back to see this. And then just bring that guy right on down. I don't know if I'm zoomed in. I hope I am close enough for you guys to see this. 
Let's see, I'm already getting getting pretty close. See that? Now all of a sudden, let's get that red. See what I mean? Like just in five minutes, I've taken off a pretty significant peak. And I think what I want to do is, you know, pause the video. And I'll probably even pause time just because I like sitting there relaxing and leveling without worrying about too much going on in the background. As you can tell, that's a theme with me. And I think what I'm going to do is, is, you know, get a railroad station like right here. One of the problems is, look how easy that one was. You know, like a picture, you know. The biggest problem is getting it cut down and in enough, if that makes sense. Like, in other words, you know, one of the reasons I cut across here like this is because then if I can cut across here in the same way, then I can bring this whole mountain down step by step pretty easily. So let's see. I will take a look at the real lifetime and try to, you know, get rid of this part of the mountain and then we'll figure out I'll try to figure out a basic idea of how you know I'd like to get all the people from right here which really will be close and then we'll have this train loop that comes back into here so I'm not sure if we'll take advantage of this full loop right here this outer thing I was talking about but you could picture where that train could come back in this way and then loop back over right or do we just make a whole separate loop for the houses that are here? So let, give me a little time to level some stuff, and I'll enjoy that on a Sunday morning, having my coffee and watching some YouTube videos, and then I'll, I'll be back. Because we're already at 40 minutes in this episode, and we haven't gotten a huge amount done. But to be honest, in this game, you don't get a huge amount done in 40 minutes. So, All right, well, I'll be right back after we get this leveled a little bit. Okay, much leveling has been done. It's about an hour's worth. The worst part is getting through the mountains. <laughs> like this stretch here was really tough, but then like this stretch with no mountains, I cleared out no problem. So what I did was, you know, thinking about the number of houses we'll need for here, you know, we're gonna have, if you look over here, we're gonna have a good number of houses. So what I thought was, kind of create an area here and I flattened out more of this level with the railroad tracks. So I think we're going to be able to put our allotment of houses for people that work in the city of Revergrad. And then I thought, well, we would have a, you know, another area kind of above that just so I don't have to level quite so much, even though it probably doesn't make that much difference. But just up on this tier here, most of the people that live here will work over in the power plants. Now, after the live stream yesterday and trying to bus people to get all of their needs met, I'm a little bit skeptical that this system's really gonna work well. So if you look, these people are gonna be a bit far away from the, you know, where if we were to put train stations down here, like, if, you know, a house over here is probably not gonna do real well. So we'll have to think about you know, maybe putting some more facilities out here. Like, I, I think it works okay if they if they come in here for their happiness thing, but maybe we'll put a shopping center type, you know, the basic needs kind of out here. But we'll see. Let's, let's see how well this goes. Like, we have, we don't have to build everything at once, right? And it's not like we couldn't temporarily steal people for down here from somewhere else. And, you know, this is just more of a long-term, I mean, it's a lot of building. So, but what this does work out to do one way or the other, depending on where and how we put houses is I'm thinking of having, you know, like I said, a single loop. So let's start laying some track so we don't run out of episode before some tracks laid and might as well start down in here. Cause that's, well, it's good a place as any other. So let's assume for a minute, we'll have, you know, some kind of a station down in this area. And again, this could all be subject to change, especially down here. My, my real goal is to get... My real goal is to get... Um, what do you call it? The... Uh, 
a little steep there, huh? Is is to get this worked out down here. Like whatever we're doing here, I'm not too overly concerned with. Now this one would be the return for the trains. Right? So when we get done, we'll connect back up to here. So this, let's try to keep it. I want to keep it a little bit off to the side in case we ever decided to like double track it. Like there's right now. Well, I guess we're going to have to do something to loop this train around, right, through a station. But it doesn't mean we're just going to have this station. Like, we could, depending on what we do, again, I'm, I'm not trying to work this out down here, but you get the idea. We might have, like, four, like, double lines if we need them, because I'm a little bit concerned about, like, traffic jams. Like, for example, you know, as we come into here, let's... I think that these are both there's look it doesn't coal mines don't even look the same anymore because a lot of this one's down a little bit but you know I flattened out a big area here so let's just take a look at our power thing real quick let's zoom out so it hits both yeah see we're within if we put it like right about here we're going to be within 150 of each I think something like that so let's yeah, we don't need a large platform because nobody's ever going to be waiting here. They're just going to get off the train and go. And I don't think there's any particular limits for get off the train and go, right? So I'm going to cheat it over this way. And I'll show you why I'm concerned. There, I think that will work out. So let's, let's take... Uh, you know what, I'm going to get rid of a little bit of that track, and let's build the right track, too. I was about to select the wrong one. So what I'm thinking of is, is, you know, we have a track that bypasses. So that, you know, like some trains may just go right down to, to like the power plants, where other, like we're going to need a lot of people coming into these coal mines. So we would have something along this line. Let's see, is that going to get out of here? Yeah, get past that other coal mine with no issues. Can we get another one? Yeah, we could if we needed to. Okay, good. Turn right. Thank you. So I'm hoping that, you know, our idiot trains don't, like, decide to go this way <laughs> instead of using the straight part. You know, if they're just bound to go to the next stop you know they're they're not gonna because in other words we might need like a train for each stop right and so we'll, we'll have a lot of trains flowing around here and i don't want them causing too much of a traffic jam now this one i've come up with a little bit of a different solution so we're going to need to get people here Sorry, yeah, this is just a yard. None of these are going to need anything, right? So it's these three that we need to get people to. So let's, again, take a look at our measuring tool. You know, that's like pushing it for them. When you get to 240, unless you have like a really direct path, that's really pushing it. But if we were like here, I think we'd be a lot closer, right? So what I'm thinking of doing, and then this isn't too bad, like 200. I think if we put a stop here, we could do the coal mine and this one, right? So let's see, you know, like, let's go like right here, right? Hopefully we can get it where I just said. And again, a small platform should be plenty enough. All right, something like this maybe. Looks like it's about the middle, I hope. That's before we go too much further, let's just check. Yeah, pretty close, 200-ish. So now, let's go back to our tracks. So again, we'll do like a bypass thing. And then we'll attach this guy up. Now, we need to stop for... We need to stop for these guys, right? But I also was looking, and if you look closely, and it's a little hard to see because you can't, I wish you could highlight these conveyors. Like we have to undo the tool, but I think one way or the other, we can get a track past each of these conveyors right here. 
Let's try that. Oh, that looks pretty nice and straight. Now can we just go... Look at that. <laughs> Sometimes in life you get lucky. And not that we couldn't have curved the track, but it's nice that they ju it just squeezed right by there, isn't it? So see, and then this is this coal mine down here. We can... Yeah, let's... Let's come out straight to there. All right, so now this is actually going to be, you know, this is going to be one of those, what do we do here moments. Um, I think I'd like to level this off a bit with the average leveling tool. So that's so now how close should we be to these so like one of the I, like I'm picturing the train comes around and loops so I guess we could put the station right here right yeah we don't want to be too too close yeah this is that's good they have their own power measuring or, or their own measuring now the other thing if we were to expand more yeah let's come off a little bit closer just so we don't get in the way of those power lines, right? Because this is only 150. Now the problem is, is I think they actually have to go to this side. So yeah, you know what? I'm going to keep it a little bit closer than I might like otherwise. But I want to make sure, I'm pretty sure we'll be able to get power lines out from there. Right? And then we'll have to have some kind of a walking path. Because I think the only, I wish these guys had some kind of a, they don't have any, human entrance down this end so i think you have to get them to walk over to the road over here so we'll have to have a, like a footpath coming in between them right and then to each of those roads all right so now let's see i'm going to try to just turn this kind of as tight as is reasonable Right? Well, we don't necessarily need two. Yeah, and then if we left this guy... Now the question is... Yeah, I don't know how sophisticated we can make the trains. Like, I think, obviously, this needs to be tied into this loop. If nothing else, to catch our bypass. Like, in other words, this return loop for this one. But do we want to... Right? Because just in case we... Like, this is going to be a stop. This is going to be a stop. I, how so Can we make it so that the trains stop here, drop off a certain amount? I think we can. I'm not real sure. But it doesn't matter. We'll, we'll have the option by just building this little thing that... You know, if, if trains can go to each stop, if we could have four separate trains or, I don't know, eight, however many we needed. And then this one, which we got past there, I want to put this guy right in the middle. Let's zoom out a little bit. Yeah, so we're talking... Well, yeah, this is about the middle right there. I don't think it needs to be that exact. And it's under 200, so we should be in good shape. And small bus platform. Yeah, I'm going to leave it out a little bit further. Could we get that walking path? Just to make sure I have enough room for that walking path. Plus, it kind of lines up with this a little bit better. Yeah, that's a little bit tight on this. Yeah, let's. All right, and let's take this back. There. Right. And then, well, that's going in there. I guess we want to take another one and it's going to squeeze. I remember leaving this gap thinking, boy, that would be a good gap to have just in case. Now, can we turn this guy? Yeah, pretty nicely. How many minutes are we at? Well, we still got some, a few minutes. 
All right, so there we go. So that is, yeah, that's a walking path. <laughs> that's right. I'm thinking, I, what did I do with the track over there? And then, you know, if we had other power plants, I guess what we could do is just, we'd have to, if we decide to put more of the power plants down here, we could loop this. We'd have to maybe destroy that track because it would be nice to sort of share one stop with four of them, maybe, and then have the loop go around. But that's a whole nother Another project for another day, if we ever have to do that. So there's no sense in worrying about it. Now, the last thing I'd like to do... Oh, you know what? I was pausing time. I'm sorry, guys. When did I pause time? I forget. I really didn't mean to be pausing time. I wanted to get some construction going in the background. Yeah, so everybody's got an assignment. I don't know. Sorry about that. I really did mean that to, to be running. All right, so now let's see if we can throw some roads together. There's, you know, I don't know. I mean, I guess there's the possibility, but we're really, these are all construction roads. I mean, they could almost all be dirt roads, to be honest with you. Like this, I think, you know, we ended up making this. Can I change that? No. Yes. No. What is wrong? Why won't you? I think these all just need well yeah because we're not going to get we're not going to bus people in when i first when i first decided on a paved road i was for some weird reason thinking about busing and you know what i'm going to do just so i don't lose my place let's let's make that Put that one in first, right? So that way we... But yeah, these can all be gravel roads. And I think... Yeah, I'm going to delete this. Weird. Alright, so anyway. that can, That's through there. And then we'll do the same... With this guy. Let's delete... Like this. And then we'll build a gravel road... And then we'll delete. We'll delete all of this. Oh yeah, look at that. Are we ever gonna? Some of these conveyors we. There we go. Good. So now, oh, why did it show that? Another thing we need down here is going to be a firehouse, huh? All right, so how are we going to... Yeah, see, I wish you could see... Oh, there's plenty of room there. Um, yeah, so let's see if we can't come through here. No, right there. Let's just move this start over a little bit. Can we get you to go there? Yeah, very nice. And you can go here. And... Yeah, these two need to get attached. Right? And then we can delete that one just to make it look a tiny bit better. Now, again, keep in mind, these are all construction roads, so if we have to cross... Yeah, we probably should start over here now a little bit, right? So we need to get... <laughs> yeah, see, this... This could be more of a paved road. Right? Is that kind of straight? And then we don't want to interfere too much with these tracks, but I'm thinking for now there are no tracks coming that way. But what I want to do is I sort of want to cross this area straight, right? Like I don't want to I don't want to zigzag too much. And I'd like to come up this way more. I think that's kind of straight. And then we'll. Yeah, 
So now the only thing is, is we're going to have to get tracks across. Like we didn't plan our tracks for the coal coming out of this area yet. So let's just take this as close to that as I can get it. Right, and then that'll be, you know, good for the construction, right? So now how are we going to get... Yeah, I mean, this guy could just be... Or do we want... Yeah, no, I don't want to mess with that. Though we could consider a road coming across here, just even if it's a temporary road for construction. So let's come around here. And these will be semi-temporary, and then we'll we can always delete them maybe in the next episode because we're kind of running out of time here. Um, you know what? Let's bring. Yeah. Um. Right, and then we'll have something like that. So we're getting there. Now can this, how does this guy get out of here? Do we just, is it better to go straight or are we just really buggered up here? Is there no way? Yeah, see, the problem is I think we're just too close to this track. So what I think we need to do to build this will be to, let's just get rid of, that's not track. Uh, let's use the proper tool because it's kind of close to other things. So we're going to come in here and just get rid of that section of track for now. All right. There we go. So, like, we'll have to obviously rebuild that track one way or the other. Now, as far as getting up there goes, so that means all of this is attached. We don't have this attached, but can I go far enough to turn yellow again? No, but you were yellow for a minute. you back just one step and then you'll let me connect yeah I know doing the doing these gravel is probably unnecessary but I do like the idea of the fire trucks being able to get up them a little bit quicker all right so now if we have this do we want to come around can we go straight there now too close yeah, I think we might want to come around the side of this hill. Oop, I need an excavator. What? Oh, because we're playing. All right, let's try to avoid needing an excavator. Try to keep the roads green. We need to get to these power plants, right? So, I'm thinking we kind of... Yeah, can we... I think I can squeeze right about here. No, yes. How about right about here? Yeah, can we squeeze through here? No, I didn't want you to attach there. Let's see, what is that? Uh, no, but that does get us to... Now this guy, is he going to be able to come at Yeah, that's another annoying thing. All right, so let's get rid of this conveyor temporarily. And let's get rid of... Yeah, how many minutes are we at? We're, we're over. Yeah, it's not that I care about the minutes so much, but... Yeah, so we're, we'll have to re... Oh, no, no, not paid first. We're going to have to... Yeah, 
It's the fact that the darn recording software just won't process it if, if there's too many gigabytes involved, right? So. Yeah. I had a feeling that was going to be too close. Take her back one, then it'll let us attach. All right, so now we can get this guy hooked up. Now this guy, is there any chance we would squeeze? Maybe if we started around here. Nah, I think the, I think the road's just too low there, but I don't really want to demolish those conveyors. Oh, we got past this one. Let's take a look. This one might just be too low. No, well, we could probably get. Yeah, it's not pretty, but it's a construction road. Well, I guess it's a semi-permanent road. So now we got to get it all the way over to here, which means our. Let's do carefully the regular old delete thing. Good enough. So we might, well, we're going to need a, when I say construction roads, uh, you know what, let's go. Can we go from here? Yeah. But we need to consider fire trucks too. So, yeah, we're definitely running out of time here, but uh, I can't, same thing here. So let's delete. Let's very carefully use the real delete tool. Ooh, did you see that thing bounce? <laughs> So, now I think what we could do too, by the way, is even though this might be a semi-permanent road, in the sense of, all right, where are we going? Can I get past here? No. All right, you know what? We're going to have to pick this up in the next episode. And plus, that'll give us time to... Go make sure everybody's still building something. I, I do I was really hoping to get it done, but you know, we're getting getting way too over the I mean I'm definitely pushing it. About an hour and fifteen is like the max limit. But you get the idea. And we'll pick this up in the next construction episode. And remember, tomorrow's episode will be our mission to the moon. So I hope you guys enjoy that mission to the moon. And I will have another episode of this on Wednesday. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I will uh, you know, talk to you in the next one, I hope. Thanks. Take care, and have a good one.